Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me today. It's Friday. Yeah, we dance today for the weekend that's coming up. I don't know. A lot of you probably aren't dancing, working two jobs just to make ends meet because of inflation. Yeah, a lot of you got to work this weekend. I'm sorry. Maybe to make you feel better, I also work on the weekends too. Yeah, seven days a week. But I want to talk about this magnitude 2.6 earthquake that occurred yesterday morning at 3.30 a.m. Uh, north of St. Louis. Here we got St. Louis. Let me bring it in here. This earthquake occurred after a swarm of earthquakes along the New Madrid fault system. 80 people said they felt this and USGS said it was a 2.6, but it wasn't. It was at least a 3, probably higher. I don't know if you can see the recent earthquakes there along the New Madrid fault zone. Yeah, up over here to the top. That's the uh, area, the town of New Madrid. But these are a series of what, uh, seven earthquakes that occurred before this magnitude 2.6. No one sent in any reports to EMSC, so we can't see what they felt. There is... Um, the map here of the sent in felt reports and there's one way over here uh, by St. Joseph it looks like um, intensity level 2 USGS gave this an intensity level of 3 there's been some aftershocks also which has not been reported intensity level 3 means it was felt noticeably indoors but not always recognized as an earthquake Standing autos rocked, rocked slightly, vibration like a passing truck. What did you notice about this earthquake either prior to it with your animals or during or afterwards? Have you felt any of these aftershocks? I have one monitor that I downloaded. It is about 75 miles northwest of where this earthquake occurred. Here's the uh, monitor. Um, in the town of Paris, I believe, and then about 75 miles um, southeast is where the 2.6, but like I said, it was not a 2.6. Here's the earthquake as it came in there at Paris. This here is the spectrogram, and I'll show you the earthquake signal. Yeah, it's got a long P wave on it. Interestingly, too, before the P wave, the first wave of the earthquake that goes directly through the ground, yeah, we got a small quake right here. Prior to that, it doesn't really mean, I don't know if I can make that bigger, no. This earthquake actually came in as a magnitude 3.32. It was probably larger. Um, I ended it before the seismic wave actually was completed. Let me go here. Yeah, right there. See, it was still rattling. Yeah, I probably should have ended it later, but yeah, it was not a 2.6. It was a magnitude 3.32. And there's been several aftershocks that are not being reported. And they're marked in red, which means the computer picked it up. So here we got a series of small quakes. 11-11 um, universal time. So that would have been also yesterday at 6-11. And let's take a look at the spectrogram. You know, actually, yeah, see how it's got it divided up into two quakes. So we'll put one there and a mark there. That comes in as a magnitude 1.19. So then the second one, we'll put it there. And that comes in as a 1.02. Not being reported. More recently, we got this one right here. Um, yeah, there was some quakes before that. Let me, yeah, some more popping. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Okay, and then this one here, right there, which was at 3.06 a.m. today. That comes in as a magnitude. Let me pull this down. If you have larger screens where you could view this, you can see it at the bottom there. That last line of text and it says MD 1.05 okay and again that would have been at 306 a.m. today so I pulled the screen up a little bit so you can see it better 
Okay, that one right there. And then we got some more. Right. Oh, it's not going to show me the data, is it? Anyways, there's two more marked in red. Let me try and download it again. It'll take me a minute to download the data. I got to open up the program so it shows. So while I'm waiting for the data, I got a few monitors here at the top. That's for Yellowstone. We got an earthquake um, that shows up, up on two monitors. I'll do a Yellowstone report um, after I do this. And then I got two monitors. Um, let me pull it over so you can see maybe the names. Um, Carl Bondale, Illinois. And then this is Paris, Missouri. Okay, it just got done. Okay, good. I got it to work. All right, so let me check right here. Looks like that's it right there. A small, very small tremor. Okay, oh, look at that. We've got heated water and gases coming up prior to these earthquakes. Only one is marked in red. It's probably this one. Oops, i got to pull it over. Let's take a look at the signature. Um, they kind of run into each other, don't they? All right, so we'll, we'll make it one long... Um, and we'll end it. Oh, it settles down maybe there. Okay. So that would come in as a magnitude 1.80. Yeah, I don't know if I should do it as 2 or 1. If I did it as 1, the first one would come in as a 1.09. And then the second one... Let's take a look at its signature. I'll just end it early. That comes in as um, 0 0.98. Yeah, we got a lot of fault movement here. I'll make that bigger. Yeah. Yeah. You can tell by the points at the top. Yeah, this is fault movement. But these small quakes are not being reported, even though they were picked up by the computer. And the first one, probably right there. Let's see. That's another small one. We'll take a look at the spectrogram. That's shallow. Yeah, that is really shallow. Yeah, look at that. Go back to the seismic signature. Okay. I'll end it right there. So that comes in as a 1.15. More than likely, people did not feel that earthquake. But if you're wondering, you know, if there's been some aftershocks, um, yeah, USGS just isn't reporting them. I don't know why. Look at that one with the... Uh, yeah, activity going on before that. And let's take a look at the spectrogram. Yeah, a lot of heated water there. You know, the greatest danger about having earthquakes in this location, um, yeah, being along the river that you can see, um, is that the land turns into quicksand. Yeah, over here, this is that sinkhole. We got a sinkhole. How many of you will remember? Oh, it's in Missouri River. Excuse me. I thought it was in Mississippi, Missouri. Um, remember there? Um, they got a mining operation there. And a sinkhole opened up in the middle of a uh, soccer or football field. How many of you were, will remember that? They were supposed to go in and investigate. Let me zoom into that to find out if it was caused by um, the collapse of the mine. And I haven't heard anything more recent about that. Yeah, right in the center of this um, field for soccer, um, yeah, this gigantic hole opened up. How many of you remember, remember that? I don't have any details listed here on my notes. I'm glad I did post it. And luckily, I have images of that sinkhole saved. I'm going to have to go back and find out more details if this was, in fact, caused by the uh, collapse 
of the mind there or if it's because of seismic activity. So let's bring this out. You know, this area doesn't have a lot of earthquakes. It's very unusual. Um, there's been two historical earthquakes in this location. Down here is the uh, 2.6. And then uh, back in 1909, there was a 5.1. And then more recently, uh, let's see, where is it? There it is. I think I found it. Yeah, back in 1968, uh, magnitude 5.4. I believe they revised it to a 5.3. But also in this area, okay, uh, we got a um, 1904, a 5.4. And we'll go back to the earthquake, which is up over here. I think it was about three years ago. Um, I went through St. Louis. I took a, a short vacation down to uh, Orlando, Florida. And we visited the arch there. And that everything along here would turn to quicksand, would liquefy. And, you know, I wonder what would happen to the arch. Um, going up into the arch was closed at that time. Um, everything was still closed because of the um, COVID, all that. There's the area. Yeah. A lot of the buildings um, I saw were made of brick and um, mortar. So they would probably collapse um, during a very large earthquake. A lot of people would be injured and killed if there was a large earthquake. Uh, maybe even a 5.4. Yeah. Um, I'm sure that uh, the Bush Stadium, which we drove by, the whole outside wall is uh, brick and mortar. I'm sure that's been um, retrofitted. But it was amazing. Um, yeah, you can see we got um, overpasses that could collapse. Here's a street view of um, one of those overpasses. Yeah. Yeah. Scary. Really scary. I wonder what this um, lighter color looks like banding, maybe retrofitting for the uh, overpass. There's a view of the uh, arch. If I can go here and look up. There we go. Yeah, it looks like it's been retrofitted a little bit. Doesn't make me feel all that good. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if I can see it better what they got going on here oh they got metal wrapped around it looks like oh doesn't that make you feel good yeah you can see a, a smaller band yeah so maybe this is joints where they've noticed problems before boy doesn't that make you uh, <laughs> worry about if you gotta travel on any of these overpasses yeah, they retrofitted them. Yeah. I believe from the uh, area of the um, St. Louis Arch, um, you could see this bridge. And it, yeah, it didn't look that um, secure to me. Looks like we got trains going over it. That goes over the river. Yeah, see. <laughs> I'm sorry if you live there. Um, yeah, look at that. This is uh, one of the uh, pillars to hold it up. Crime there in St. Louis is, is yeah, out of this world. Just like many of the uh, major cities. Um, the hotel that we stayed at when we went through, or when we were coming back, um, I, they were having some kind of convention going on, and there was a lot of police officers staying at the same hotel, so I didn't have to worry too much about the car, uh, or the van, my daughter's SUV being broken into, with all the uh, police cruisers in the parking lot. So this is used for train, for cargo 
different products to go across. But see, this would all liquefy, all turn to jello. Yeah, remember when uh, they had that large earthquake in, what was it, 1811, 1812? How the river actually flowed backwards? Yeah, it makes you wonder about all the ship traffic. What would happen to that along here? Yeah. So number one, the earthquake was definitely larger than what they're reporting. And number two, they're not reporting these um, other earthquakes. That one there. This one here, somewhere in here. And this one, which is all today. So what are your thoughts? What have you done to your own home there in St. Louis? Um, or your apartment building? You, you know, you don't have any control over um, what the landlord does to make it earthquake safe. But there's things you can do for yourself. Having a bug out kit. Having your bookcases and um, different things bolted to the wall. Make sure there's nothing above your bed where you sleep at night. Don't want anything falling on, on you when you um, have an earthquake. And, you know, and they always say, well, lay on the bed and put a pillow over your head. I would not lay on the bed because uh, when they had that, um, what was it, Northridge earthquake in California, where they had apartment buildings actually collapse and people were trapped and killed on the bed. I would get on the floor next to the bed if you have a, a heavy-duty dresser between the bed and the wall. That's where I would lie. Um, yeah, on the floor between maybe a dresser and the bed. I would not be on the bed. Another thing they changed too recently was about standing in doorways. Well, if there's a door there, you don't stand in the doorway because if the door suddenly slams, you could lose your fingers or have a broken hand and all kinds of terrible things. So you're supposed to get underneath heavy, you know, a heavy table or something that could possibly hold up the ceiling above you. Maybe if you got something heavy next to the door frame because the door frame's been reinforced without a door, yeah, get under that instead. But anyways, yeah, that's all I have for you right now. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, and make sure you're still subscribed. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.